What's up, my people? Did you miss me? I miss you guys. Wonderful, wonderful. After the Bitcoin halving show, it has been from one travel meeting to another. But I am back. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back again. You're welcome to the Digital Asset Show, the one and only cryptocurrency show with Bitcoin on top of the food chain on DSTV, channel 189. Pop Central. Give it up for Pop Central. <sighs> so, this is the first time I'm not being branded. I understand. Yes. That's because I'm not coming directly from where I can be branded. That gist you guys will not be privy to. But I've got lots of information for you guys. How are you all doing? You miss me? You miss me? I miss you too. Today, I will be taking your calls, so feel free. Call the number on your screen. Please, my producer, you can put up the number on the screen. Uh, we're going to have a conversation today. And of course, there will be a QR code on the screen. We're going to be starting something very beautiful on the show. You can sell your USDT. And of course, Bitcoin to me live on television for the first time in the history of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, and in Africa, and all over the world. It has never happened before. We are breaking boundaries here on Pop Central. That's Digital Assets Show. Verifiable transactions, verifiable settlements, near instant. Yes. Wonderful customer service. That's because we need to start teaching you how these things are done for real life on TV. For some of you that will be wondering, ah, crypto, they don't ban ammo for Nigeria, this so, that so, I will prove you wrong. You're welcome. Yes, I just they come from SEC place. Uh-huh, I met the Oga at the top. My Oga, newly appointed Director General of the Security Exchange Commission of Nigeria, Dr. Timi Agama. Wonderful man, wonderful personality with his entire team, uh, hosted myself and the Association of Bureau de Change of Nigeria last week. And obviously, it was a fantastic meeting. I can't wait to share that experience with you. But before then, what is Bitcoin price today? You know, the Bitcoin price today is $66,959. It's been hovering around this price for some time. Last week that I didn't come around, I think it tanked a little bit. Why? Um, you want to know? I'll let you know. What is the market cap of Bitcoin today? The market cap of Bitcoin is still pretty much way into one trillion market cap. One trillion dollars, of course, 319 billion thereabouts. 1.3 billion dollars, bigger than the entire Nigeria economy. <laughs> you never are. So if you're not buying BTC, what are you buying? You know, um, Everybody has been asking after the Alvin, what next? Which was what we uh, educated you about. Obviously, you know, the, the, the miners reward has been cut into 3.125. We all know that, right? And then um, miners are hoarding their BTC. They're not really selling. Diamond hands are holding. Weak hands are selling because they can't really hold for the t test of that long time. You know, some people are just gonna put the actual B in BTC. I have told you over and over again, uh, cryptocurrency is, uh, it's not all cryptocurrency that you gamble with. You don't gamble with Bitcoin, right? You can gamble with maybe Ethereum and the rest of them, real quick securities. But, you know, Bitcoin, one true decentralized peer-to-peer -peer electronic cash system, finance money, 21 million for real, for real, for real, uh, just about how many millions in circulation uh, over 18 to 19 million has been mined already. So <laughs> how many remain for you and I to buy? Nations and states are beginning to look into mining. Uh, the president of Kenya, sometime two weeks ago, you know, kind of mentioned that um, they will be working with Marathon, uh, one of the biggest mining company from, you know, the West. And these are beautiful innovations coming up. You know, uh, miners still having their brouhaha in Nigeria obviously and what else lots of things happening but one beautiful thing that has happened is the fact that the apex body of the bdc's right bdc's are bereaved they change yes 
be real, they change. They're everywhere all over the world. They have an apex body called APCON, A-B-C-O-N, Association of Be Real, They Change Operators of Nigeria. And, uh, you know, we, uh, my company is, uh, you know, the uh, technical partner on remittance, and we've been working closely with this organization. This organization is highly regulated by the central bank. And, uh, you know, when it comes to all the necessary infrastructure, research and development, we have really helped scale their operations. They're investing heavily into things that can help them digitize and, you know, follow the rules and regulation uh, that the central bank lay. And, of course, they have realized that the digital currency space, based on our advice, is even though at the nascent stage, taking off tremendously. And if you don't play in that circle, uh, the entire BDC business can even go extinct somehow, somewhere. So that said, we had a collaborative and um, very, very intuitive conclusion that it will be nice for BDCs in Nigeria to go fully digital and of course, step into the digital currency uh, space. Um, so that was how we carried ourselves and went to the SEC in Abuja. And so we went to the SEC, fantastic team at the SEC. Uh, we didn't wait for too long. We went straight to the DG's office. We were entertained. We we're giving uh, drinks and, and, and quick snacks. And we were a lot of us, I mean, the biggest and the biggest of the players in the period of change space. And we had a tete-a-tete -tete with the, with the uh, uh, DG, Director General. Uh, the BDCs were represented, of course, by their national president, Alaji Amino Guadabe. And, of course, um, Wells. Um, we had the Southwest president there, Mr. Taiwo. Uh, there was also Mr. Thompson, North Central uh, uh, Chairman. Yeah, Southwest Chairman, Mr. Taiwo, North Central Chairman, Chairman Mr. Thompson. And of course, the Vice President himself was also there. Uh, who else? Lots of people were there. I mean, lots of very verifiable, line-sensed BDCs. And these people are trying to take advantage of the digital currency space. It's a beautiful thing. You know, before then, uh, this motive has been made known in an exclusive in an exclusive uh, special meeting held by uh, Beacon. If you have never heard of Beacon, Beacon is the... Wait, hold on. That's a mistake. I don't forget the meaning of Beacon. Uh -huh. Beacon is Blockchain Industry Coordinating Committee of Nigeria. Uh, Beacon held a, 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 an open meeting, but of course strictly by invitation, uh, with the newly appointed... Director General Dr. Timi Agama, of course, he was appointed by President Balame Tinubu for the SEC. And um, lots of people were there, local and international exchanges. Uh, Siban was there. Siban is stakeholders in blockchain, uh, stakeholders, stakeholders in blockchain association of Nigeria, something like that. <laughs> then we see DCC was there, Digital Currency Coalition, I think so. Um, well, CDI and Cryptographic Development Initiative of Nigeria, I think so. <laughs> so most of all the necessary blocks, of course, I was there representing Bitcoiners in Nigeria. Uh, and and we, we had a national conversation matter because the SEC, the CBN, the entire Nigerian FG uh, really frowns at the manipulation that is going on on the exchange, right? Who is to blame? Are you blaming the BDCs? Are you blaming the P2P? Or should the blame be put back to the government and say, look, you guys are not putting the right infrastructure in place. Maybe that's why the Naira is dwindling. So, but the new SEC DG is very aware, is intuitive, uh, highly experienced when it comes to the blockchain and cryptocurrency space. So that, that one, uh, Banga, good nomination and an appointment by the president. And it's been collaboratively working with the merchants, the exchange founders, you know, to make sure that the bad eggs are 
fished out and thrown away. Before you throw them away, break them, make sure you clear the yolks, <laughs> wash it away. And uh, there's been progress. So the meeting with, and in that meeting, you know, Alaji Amino Guadaba made it obvious that, look, DGSEC, we really love the fact that you're the person that has been appointed and, you know, we really want to play in this sector. And it was wonderful, the fact that, you know, Beacon gave a platform for expression for that purpose. Shout out to the Beacon president, Lucky, and everybody over there. And and it was wonderful. You can see pictures on the screen. That meeting was very excellent. The DG himself spoke fantastically well. Um, Haven't uh, uh, expressed uh, the mission of digitizing and harmonizing the entire digital currency space, making sure that traders will trade in under one purview uh, of, of course, critical surveillance, uh, open for the government to see transactions and, uh, you know, make sure that compliance is strictly adhered to and, of course, follow to the latter. And um, uh, everything that will mitigate AML, which is anti-money laundry uh, uh, risk, would be put in place. You know, all of this submission was put before the SEC DG. And, and the SEC DG, Dr. Timmy Agama, very uh, understanding man, got the message and, you know, uh, reiterated uh, the message just for us to know that, oh, I understand you guys. And he said, look, you guys want to play in the digital currency sector? Wonderful. We will give you the support as long as you're open to scrutiny. The SEC can bite, but the SEC... Uh, want to really support this space for the love of the country. Remember, there is a 10% capital gain on digital assets, basically on cryptocurrency, Bitcoin on top of the food chain. How would the government collect that if these things are not uh, transacted in the open? So I support the government clamping down on peer-to-peer -peer exchanges that are not registered in Nigeria so that this space can be sanitized. Players can come out. You'll not be in the dark and you are inflating rates here and there. So you can see the pictures on the screen, the biggest of the biggest players in the BDC space. I mean, I even, I even met Sula, you know, uh, uh, were present at that meeting and the DG was very, very welcoming. So if you are a cryptocurrency player in Nigeria today, this is the best time to come out. Do not hide. Do not go and do Mago Mago thing. Make sure you're not engaged in fraud. Make sure you're not engaged in money laundry, whatever. Make sure you are KYCing your, tra uh, your, your transactions, which means you are knowing your customers before you do transactions with them. If it's a business you're doing transaction with, KYB, know the business, right? Avoid anything that will put you under the uh, surveillance radar for bad. With the SEC, you will not like it. If we come together and we make sure that we sanitize this space, supporting the government, we're really going to enjoy this space. Look, the BDCs are so liquid and they are coming to the digital space. What do you expect? So I'll be taking your calls. I'll be going for a quick break. Uh, I want a situation whereby we can talk. You guys can holler at me, call me. There is a QR code on the screen. Uh, you can just scan the QR code if you would like to sell USDT uh, or, or Bitcoin on national television. You do that. Look, and, and, and every transaction, we definitely have to give governments their own money. We have to show the Nigerian government that we can make money for the Nigerian government. Billions and billions and billions of Naira is being lost. Not even Naira dollars is being lost in our country because foreign entities are taking our money away. We have to show the Nigerian government that we paid millions of Naira to be on television and, you know, we flew... Lots of people to go and you know talk to the DG, and so many people in the blockchain space are still going to be doing that because this is a sector that can really re energize, revitalize you know our Nigerian economy. So, pay attention, these things are real. Don't do cryptocurrency transactions with Magomago Mago people. You know, watch this show, the only show that we not just entertain you but educate you about cryptocurrency, of course, Bitcoin on top of the food chain. And henceforth, we will be transacting with you on national TV. But we will collect government money if you don't want Mago Mago. So sit back, relax. Olua Shego is my name. If I did not remind you what my name is in the beginning, now you know. For those of you that already know, Osu Alaji will be right back. Uh, sticking with me, if you have 
not been with us before we went on the break is the Digital Assets Show. And I am Olua Shagun Olua Lojaju Hasu Alaji. The only man that brings to you live cryptocurrency education on DSTV 189, Pop Central. Nowhere else in Africa you will find week on week blockchain cryptocurrency exclusive education like this. But you know, say me, I'm a Bitcoin maximalist. Eh, eh, I don't have time for ish coin. <laughs> but then, if you are doing anything that makes sense, whether you are tokenizing real world assets, of course, as long as you are not selling evil coins, I would welcome you here. On this show, we have featured multiple personalities and we'll continue to give a platform for expression to anybody who is with the sincerity of purpose and the willingness to succeed. As long as Nigeria is going to benefit, you are going to benefit. And uh, their hands are clean. We will put them on the platform. Welcome back again. If you are seeing a QR code on your screen, please scan that QR code right now. You know what it does? Instant settlement of your cryptocurrency trade. USDT on top of the food chain. And of course, Bitcoin. You know I love Bitcoin. I'll tell you why. We need to start encouraging transactions that will be open to the government. Transactions that is not hidden. If you are a merchant in Nigeria, you are doing cryptocurrency, why are you hiding? Why are you running? More if I don't run. <laughs> Stop hiding. Stop doing things that will manipulate the, 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 the numbers in Nigeria. Stop manipulating our exchange rates. Why isn't the exchange rate fluctuating in other countries? Why are they not manipulating the USD to British pounds? So please, tell them. Nigeria never banned Bitcoin, no. Nigeria no banned crypto. There is a national blockchain policy by NITA. Shout out to the NITA DG. This country will succeed and you and I go benefit inside. We don't criticize government so till we cannot continue to criticize them without coming to the table to have this conversation. So going forward, we're going to be bringing the players from the Bitcoin guys, C-Bands, DCC, whatever it is, AppCon, Bureau Change, SEC. We will bring the right players here, physically or virtually, so that you can have a conversation with them. You can even call in. I'm expecting you to call me right now. Ask me any question. Open your ear. Very soon, there will be a transparent transactional platform for you and I to be doing transactions. So this is a proof of concept we are trying to build so we can actually show that it is very, very possible. Yes. And you must be licensed to do stuff. So don't run away from licensing. It's very, very important you pay attention to licensing in this country. It is 150 million naira. No more 30 million. December last year, I tell you now, making a rush go and I do like this. It's now 150 million naira for registration. And you need to show that you can afford 1 billion naira working capital in cash in the bank or in assets. So you need to be liquid. Dr. Timmy Agama, the newly appointed SEC DG, I've said it on the Digital Assets Show when he was the managing director of the Nigerian capital market, that you cannot give your money to somebody who is hungry. What will he do? He will eat it up. So show capacity. If you're a young man building startups and you don't have all the funding, you can come here. We'll give you a platform for expression. Look for people to support you. Raise uh, seed funding, share equity, small percent of a billion dollar company is better than 100% of nothing, no. Uh -huh. May I tell you now, make an agile. In this space, people will become multi-millionaire between now and 2030. And Nigerian government wants to encourage that. Shout out to the city boy at the presidency, President Bola Ahmed Tinumbu. Jaga! Jaga, Jaga, Ban! Baba! Allow us. Allow us. We say we allow you. <laughs> So yeah, I'm waiting, you know, new way, new system. Let me know what problems have you faced before transacting cryptocurrency with different platforms. Talk to me, send me your message, call me on the phone from any part of the country or the world or from Africa if you're watching me and share your experiences with me. If you need us to call somebody out, we would do that on national TV. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
Uh -huh. We feel they do very dark man the way they do with uh, 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 skincare people. <laughs> <laughs> if you guys don't know him, go check him out. There's one guy online like that. I kind of like the guy, you know, quite controversial, but it's okay. It's doing well. So, um, yeah, the BDCs are getting into the digital currency space, and I am fully involved. So, what are you waiting for? Why are you not going to be involved? Why are you going to trust those guys at the junctions to sell you dollar? Me, they don't go sell you fake dollar. I'll meet person who will collect your money. All those your fears go come out. You'll be able to sit down in the corners of your home in a well regulated environment and bah, 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 you go do your transaction. Don't be chow, chow, chow. The government is not frowning about maybe synthetic dollar is being sold around. That's not the problem. What the government is frowning up at is manipulation of the exchange rates. Do your business and do it legitimately. As long as it is taxable and we can take something to continue to better the environment so that it can be, it can continuously be enabling for you, we will allow you prosper. You know, they talk, say, come here, they come out food for Namaz, they talk, they this, they that. When Binance and KuCoin and the rest of them crept into our economy, breaking the rules of our country, even after SEC announced that these companies are illegitimate, they call the bluff of the SEC. What did not do? Can you go and sell biscuits in America without license? They burn you well. We can't do that. So respect the government of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. And let's do this right. If not, this crypto thing, they don't go agree. Now we didn't agree. We didn't declare the place. Now that a, 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 the person that has been appointed, and, and I saw the board, fantastic people. I, I saw the communications person at the SEC, Ms. Onoja, fantastic. I saw Mr. Uh, uh, Ajamali, uh, one of the commissioners, wonderful people at the SEC. Wonderful people. New set of SEC people now are people that are not just tech savvy. They are, they are they, they understand. They might not be very young, but they understand what the young people like you and I want. And they are for cryptocurrency. They are not against cryptocurrency. So stop all that notion. If not, we will not be here on national TV. We spend millions every week. Have you seen adverts here anyhow? No, you think people don't reach out to us? They reach out to us. But when we scrutinize you and you know, we don't match up, we're not going to take your money. How much be the money? But where would they talk about Bitcoin? How much you get? <laughs> so, don't forget, it's very crucial for you to do your transactions in a way that it is verifiable and it can be proven. Except you are engaging in a fraudulent transaction. That's why on national television, as you can see me now, you can see the QR code, you can scan the QR code, get in there, and every transaction you do will be legitimate. I will be buying your Bitcoin on national television, no third party. Now, me and you, send it in. I can see some transactions coming in. People are, you know. I will buy your Bitcoin here and pay you on national TV. I will buy your USDT now, 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 and pay you. It has never been done before in Nigeria. It will be done now. Shout out to the Nigerian women Bitcoiners. The fantastic women community learning Bitcoin very, very fast. Over a thousand women learning Bitcoin in Nigeria. Things are changing. There will be opportunity for you to prosper in this blockchain space. You can be a community manager. You can be a salesperson. You can be a marketer. You can be... Uh, 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 I, an HNI executive, that is a high net worth individual uh, executive, if you know how to relate with high net worth individual, you know, you can do that. You know, you can play in multiple places. You can, you can be a graphic designer for a Bitcoin company or even a, or whatever blockchain company. Everything that you can do in the monetary space, in the fiat monetary space, you will do in, you will be able to do, it's already happening in the cryptocurrency space. People are making money, doing lots of work right now. If you are a cameraman, an editor, you can function there. You will start seeing shows that will be copying us on television everywhere pretty soon because the government has created an enabling environment for cryptocurrency to thrive. You people have not realized yet. Until you realize and stop complaining about the government and get into the game. Get into the game. Have a skin in the game and understand. But of course... You must be very, very careful. 
not your keys, not your coin. Don't trust, verify. That's what we say in the Bitcoin community. So many beautiful things that I'll be bringing to you. I'm just hoping that somebody can call me and ask me a question. I hope the number is on the screen. And of course, if you just want to give it a try, just get into the, uh, the scan the QR code and, and sell your USDT to me and I'll buy it. Sell your Bitcoin to me, I'll buy it on TV. So you understand, I'll buy it at a very good rate. And I will pay my 10% capital gain to the president, uh, to the FIRS. Yes, the FIRS, you know, asked them a question sometime last year that how do you want to collect this money? So what they're going to do is I think this, the, the state takes for the individual and, of course, the, 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 the FIRS takes for the COI. That's for the company. And um, I, I, I kind of think that I have intel that they are building a technology or it's an existing technology, but they are adding some tools to it to be able to take cryptocurrency uh, tax. So pay, pay, just pay that tax. It's just that that 10%, I think, is kind of too high because, for example, you have a million dollars in cryptocurrency. Maybe you don't have a million dollars yet, but in the bull market, because we're kind of in a bull market, after the halving happened, it's still the bull market. Between now and the next one year, don't play. Make sure you buy Bitcoin because it's going to go up. I'm telling you, Bitcoin was less than a cent. Nobody wanted to buy Bitcoin before last deal, even spent 10000 uh, uh, bitcoins on two pizza. I never told you about that. Aha. Bitcoin pizza day is coming. You know. Shout out to the um, Nigerian women bitcoiners. Uh, they're supposed to be in collaboration with the women in DeFi, headed by Sarah Idaosa, a wonderful lady uh, who is going to be. Oh, I, get, I think I got a call. Okay. Yeah. Come on. Talk to me. Who do we have on the line? Hello, my name is Paul Central. Hello, hello, hello. What is your name and where are you calling from? You're welcome to the Digital Asset Show. Hello, good evening. Speak louder. I can hear you faintly, but just speak louder to me, my brother. Oh. Okay, fantastic. I'm calling from Lecky. Um, hello. Okay, a few more seconds. I think I cannot hear you. Maybe you will try to call okay, back. Fantastic. Right, yeah. So, calling so I'll be taking your calls. Uh, yes, call oh, me, you. ask me any questions, and, and, and I'll be very happy to help debunk myths and amplify facts. Like I was saying, Bitcoin Pizza Day is coming, I think it was on the 22nd of May, and uh, shout out to women in DeFi. Women in DeFi, definitely, they're going to be having a Bitcoin Pizza Day, and they want to collaborate with the Nigerian women Bitcoiners. Uh, uh, and, I, and I think that's going to work. So if you want to be a part of that, you want to buy pizza for Bitcoiners, uh, you, where women will gather to learn about Bitcoin and Bitcoin education, Bitcoin history will be discussed. And I've been here for you to, you know, mop up data and, and, and of course, you know, showcase your products. That would be a wonderful experience. I think you should reach out. Yeah, you can reach out to the show. You can reach out to me on my Twitter or Instagram anytime. You definitely would... Uh, you definitely would uh, be attended to rightfully. So, so, so as I was saying, big players are getting into the space. Say you want the doll, ne? you know, for the doll, oh. <laughs> because uh, when I went to the DG's office, I knew it wasn't a child's play. And for the DG of the SEC to pay attention to the cryptocurrency space and he had a meeting with the merchants, the P2P merchants, the, the, the exchange founders, people in the blockchain, many of them, right? That means the man means business. I have a call. Who is on the line? Okay, I, I have to go to on a break. I'll go for a quick break. And uh, I think I have been, we're having technical issues. When we come back, we'll still take your call. Keep calling. Keep joining the QR code on your screen. Oluwa Shegun is not going nowhere. Digital Asset Show will be right back. Let's do it. consecutive breaks on Digital Asset Show. My producer actually don't like this kind of thing, but go catch up today. <laughs> we went on three different breaks. I love it. So yeah, welcome back to DAS, your one-stop show for cryptocurrency gives you that exhilarating ride with Bitcoin on top of the food chain. And I am Olu, like my Yankee friends called me, or Olu, my Nigerian people called me. I'm waiting for your call. I think our technical glitch has been fixed. Um, talk to me on national television. What 
are your concerns about all of the news, crackdowns, you know, here and there that you're hearing, peer-to-peer -peer, uh, exchanges have been directed by the SEC and, of course, the ONSA. That's the Office of the National Security Advisor, and, of course, the latter is Security Exchange Commission, to take out the NGN, that's the Nigerian Naira, from the peer-to-peer -peer exchange. And I think it's a temporary decision because, uh, like I said earlier, the, the space needs to be sanitized. The government, through the SEC, needs to know who and who are playing in this space, who is licensed, who is registered, who is not licensed, uh, who meets the criteria, how do all of these fraudulent activities happen? Who are the people that are trying to mess up our country, Nigeria? This information must come to the open. If you are a merchant, you're doing peer-to-peer, -peer, and you do Mago Mago trying to spoil this space for us, all of the efforts that we are putting, we will fish you out. Yes, and we hand you over to the SEC or to the NSA. Of course, you can also mess this place up for us. This is a multi-billion dollar uh, industry, and we are building the ecosystem. So the entire leadership of Beacon, CBAN, DCC, CDIN, I say kudos to all of you. And of course to APCON and every other blocks. Yes, my fellow Bitcoiners all over the world, uh, whether it's women in DeFi, whether it's Nigerian women, Bitcoiners, everybody that is doing something unique to ensure that we build an industry that will be viable, that will be enabling, that will be productive, progressive, that will expand the monetary scope and earnings of individuals, companies, and of course the nation. I say big kudos to you. I want to thank you all for joining me, sticking with me. Henceforth, don't worry, I'm not going to miss any episode because the information, they grow, they stand up for there, we know the dollar. Huh? Next week, I might come with a guest, hopefully, and if not, I'll be waiting for you to talk to me. So get your phones by your side, do not miss the episode, only on DSTV channel 189, you will not find it anywhere. Pop Central, Digital Asset Show. I remain Oluwa Shegun. Aha. And to my beautiful admirers over there, mwah, I love you all, right? Not to the guys. No, 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 no. To the ladies only, right? And uh, there's one lady looking at me here. She's eyeing me. You guys can see her. I can see her. <laughs> Odabo. Odabo means goodbye.